Well, getting out with Mike to do for our last ice fishing trip of the year. It's the end of March. We got like 50 some degrees today. Tell you what, late ice is generally the best ice fishing of the year. Should be some crappie moving into the shell. Usually they migrate in there, start schooling up. Got to be careful with the shoreline ice. I don't recommend going out by yourself. Always have a partner. Cause you never know when you're going to go through them. Still uh, six inches of ice holding, but it's melting fast. We're going to get out there and see if we get a feel. Yep, here we're at Mayville on Chautauqua Lake, far northern end. Still a few guys out there. That's normally where you're going to go through. Once you're out on the main sheet, you should be out. I'm kind of nervous walking out here. You can see. Pretty sloppy and slushy. You never know when your next step you're going to go. Well, we made it out on the ice. We drilled a couple holes here. Looks like the ice is still a good thickness out here, but you have to be careful of the shoreline. Shoreline ice is always the first to go. Get on it. Look at that, Mike. Nice big crappie. Ain't even dark yet. You want to see what I got him on? You want to see what I got him on now? <laughs> Check this out. That's a nice big crappie. All right. Tube jig, dude. Big old tube jig. All right. All right, Mike. Let me see what you're using here. Glow in the dark jig. Tip it away. We normally don't even come out till the evening time, right? Best yeah. fishing. I'll tell you what. We've seen guys who are fishing during the day. They're like 13 in a pile. I'm huh, like, Yeah. Come on, crappie. Mike, I want on. Do it. Nice crappie. Nice. Mike got him a crappie. Yeah, they ain't even dark yet. Look at that. Good enough, good keeper, huh? And a couple. Got one down there, Mike. Right? Actually, do it. <laughs> Messed him, man. Come on, fish. Got something coming up? Something coming up the hole? Dude, dude, look at that pole go. Dude, you got something nice on it. Dude, you got a big crappie. Get <laughs> look at the size of that. Dude, hold it out, man. That is a big crappie. Mike got him a big crappie. It ain't even dark yet. I thought mine was big, Mike. <laughs> you got the big crappie there, man. That's a nice one. Nice. Mike just pulled in another crappie. About time to fire up the lantern, huh, Mike? Yeah. Well, we got four of them. It's going to get dark. Put the lantern on. Maybe we're going to get into them, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's one. There's one. Nice fighting fish, Mike. Got something coming up, man. Okay. Oh, there's one. That's a nice keeper. About nine and a half, ten inch. Yeah. Edge of the pile, man. We're getting a few crappie. Yeah, yeah, Mike, I Mike got one. Nice. Nice one. Let's see, man. Yeah. Crappie. Got him. Crappie, dude. That's a nice one. Let's see, put him up. Put him on there, spread him around and go with him. A decent one, man. A decent. Uh, nice one. A little fussy. We had a high pressure front come through today, bright sunshine. So they are a little finicky. It's the same old thing. Should have been here last night, right? The guy said he got a bucket ball. Yeah. Mike, <laughs> Mike just pulled in another one. Nice. That's a nice crappie, dude. There's our one. Got a few in the fish trap. What are we fishing, Mike, buddy? Put the water. Got some weeds on the bottom. Sporadic weeds. You got one, Mike. Oh, he bite me. You get out of here. All I get is a perch in the dark. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Another crappie. Crappie. <laughs> nice one, huh, Mike? Yeah. Yeah, it's got one. Soon as I drop down. All right. There's something coming up. Come over on Vex, Mike. He's biting it. There you go. I got him. What do I got here? 
Yeah, another perch. Still trying to work some crappie out. Got a small pile of them, but we'll work see if we get enough for a fish fry. Dude, I got a nice one. Nice crappie coming up, coming up the hole, Mike. Oh, look at the size of that. Look at the size of that. Oh man, that's a nice crappie. Huh? Got him. What do you got, my kids? Decent. Decent. Oh, nice bluegill. Nice bluegill. That's a nice bluegill. That's a keeper, dude. That's a nice hand size. All right. Add to the pile of crappie. Another fish. What do you got, Mike? Another good bluegill. Another good bluegill. Well, we gave it a good shot. Worked it hard, hoped for a big pile of crappie, but didn't happen. But we did get a decent pile of fish. I might yep. enough for a decent fish fry. Let's see what we got here. A nice little pile of crappie, some bluegill. All right, Mike, hold up that big one, man. Mike got the big crappie of the day. Yeah. Is that about 13 and a half or something? Oh, yeah. Nice one there. Yeah, we got a nice little pile to take home. Have a nice little pick. Well, wasn't the greatest ice fishing season. And it wasn't the greatest trip. I'll tell you what, we already had the ice fishing stuff stowed away in a basement. Well, my brother told me, guy uh, talked to, got a whole bucket of them last night. So I figured, we got to get it out for one more trip. Well, didn't get a bucket full, but we got enough for a fish fry. We well, didn't do it. I gotta stow everything away again, clean it out, but yeah, it's fishing for you. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna show you how we flay our crappie and how we cook them. It's good eating fish. Right. Here's how we flay them. Start along the, the spine there. Run the knife right along the spine. Get back behind this fin. Oh, I think he's coming too. He was frozen. Leave it attached. Make a slice here behind the gill plate. Now let's run the bone down along the backbone and the ribs. Alright, and leave it attached. Now you just flip it over and skin the fish. Some good eating flays there. Knife's getting a little dull, but it works. Alright, now I'll show you how we uh, cook them up. I used to deep fry my fish, put them in batter and deep fry them. That's the way they taste best, but for my low cholesterol diet, now I use olive oil, and just some eggs, and breadcrumbs. Alright, dip the fish in the egg mixture. There we go. That just takes a couple minutes on each side and dig in. Almost done.